painting is actually from Spirited Away, which is one of my favorite Ghibli films of all time. Uh, you can see this little cottage on an island on the sea when Chihiro is taking the train away from the bathhouse and she's trying to save Haku. <laughs> watercolors I try my best to layer them properly so I start off with big blocks of color like painting the ocean and the grass and the sky then I move on to smaller parts of the painting like the house and the clouds and then once I'm finished laying down all of these big blocks of color I can slowly move on to adding some details that will usually be in a slightly darker shade which add a lot more dimension as you can see here just adding the little tufts of grass and soil After the base layer is dry, I can go in with a slightly darker shade and add some details to the blocks of colour. Like here, I'm adding some streaks down the roof and I'm also adding the colours to the doors and the windows of the cottage and doing the leaves on the lonely tree that is next to the bench. So right now I'm going in again by adding some uh, darker details to the grass and to the tree and I'm also going in with a very steady hand and using a slightly off black colour to outline the cottage and really make it uh, pop. I'm adding details to the windows and to the doors and also some tufts of grass surrounding the cottage and I'm using a diluted black to emphasize the shadows of the tree as well as the cottage. So now I'm taking a very very watery diluted grey and adding details to the clouds as well as some streaks across the water to make it look kind of like it's rippling around and I'm adding a diluted white acrylic paint to highlight the clouds as well as add small details to the trees and the grass and I also highlighted parts of the cottage that appeared lighter in the original photo and added some white streaks to the roof to make the lines look more prominent. And there's also a very quaint laundry line that was very small, so I added this detail in white so I could paint over it later with some other colours. And I'm adding white streaks as well to the water to get that effect. The most satisfying part is always peeling off the masking tape and getting those clean lines but unfortunately the top and bottom tape just ripped off parts of the paper and the painting it was so sad but I just covered it up with washi tape and it was fine. So the next scene I chose is the secret garden from Howl's Moving Castle. Uh, like Spirited Away, House Moving Castle is one of my favourites. I love the characters. I think they really explore um, Sophie and Hal and their relationships and like their personal growth. And fun fact, I think Hal is so attractive even though he's just a drawing. But if you've watched the movie, I'm sure you'd agree as well. <laughs> I think it wasn't a super good idea to use watercolours for the entire painting because watercolours are translucent when they sit on top of one another so they tend to get quite muddied on the page especially if they're using colours on top of one another so I decided to go in with some 
acrylic paint in pink and yellow just to make sure that the little flowers really pop on the grass so it matches the original photo a little bit better. is very similar for all the paintings. After laying down the colours and the details, I like to go in with a diluted black for the shadows and then use an opaque acrylic white to add in the highlights. Okay, now we're at my favourite part, peeling off the tape. Now I had a little bit less of an issue with this painting, but the bottom tape kind of let some green seep through. So it wasn't super satisfying, but still a lot better than the first one. So the last scene I'm painting, I'm actually quite excited about. This is a scene from Pom Poco, which is a slightly lesser known Ghibli film. I recently watched it on Netflix and it was so funny and charming. And it's basically about these raccoons that are trying to survive in a city and in order to adapt to the human world, they learn how to shapeshift. And one of the things that they love to shapeshift with is actually their testicles. So they literally use their balls to create like carpets and creatures and demons. And it's just very entertaining and you should definitely watch it for yourself. the video I'm kind of changing up the camera angles a little bit and some of them don't work very well as you can see here with the camera focusing on my hand more than what I'm painting but I'm still quite new to this so hopefully the next time I film a paint with me video I'll find a workable camera angle and you can more easily you know see the details that I'm trying to paint <laughs> One of the things I really loved about this scene is that it is of the forest at sunset. So in the other scenes that I painted before, the clouds were mostly white with some uh, lighter colours. But here, because the clouds are backlit, they are a little bit darker and more saturated. So I think the effect it creates is very interesting and it really does make it look like sunset. Once again, I'm using the opaque acrylic white to go over the sky and the clouds to add highlights. I'm also adding some details onto the grass and the bushes to add some more dimension. Over here, I'm using a muddy green watercolour paint to draw on some leafless branches in the background. And aside from this, there were two others in the painting that you'll see later. So yeah, just have to have a steady hand and adding the details and just make sure the layers below are dry. So after going in with the details, I decided to do one more layer of white acrylic and there was a small speckle of paint that was being very stubborn. Uh, but after I removed that, I went on to re-highlight some of the clouds as well as the greenery. Sometimes the acrylic paint dries a little bit more translucent than you expect, so you can just go in with another layer. Okay, 
finally, I redeemed myself with the last painting because the peeling was fairly easy and the lines were quite clean. Uh, for this painting, I made sure to kind of stick the masking tape on my leg and my hand just so it's not so tacky and it won't lift off any part of the paper. So these are my final products. Uh, at the end of the day, I still really like the first painting the most, but I had a lot of fun with the other two as well. So if you enjoyed painting with me, do leave this video a like, and if you want to see more content from me, please subscribe and let me know what other scenes you'd like me to paint soon. Bye!